to keep this world together. Got to keep it moving straight. Love like we mean forever. So the people can relate. If you're rolling to your left, don't forget I'm on the right. Trust and forgive each other. A little love and we just might. <laughs> Welcome back to Touch of Health. I'm Dr. Bob Grykowski, and as always, we are very excited to be here today because this is about your health. This is about one of the most important things that you can do. We have so much information about the doing part of your health this week and a lot of things that you can put into action. So you may want to grab a pen and paper right now because we're going to give you some core things that you can look at because this week's topic is called Eight Basic Energies. It's going to be talking about your physical body and your nutrition. So we're going to give you certain tools that you can put into your daily lifestyle, certain foods that you can start to add or delete, and we're going to be talking about nutrition. We could be talking about nutrition literally for weeks and months. It gets very confusing out there, so we're going to just say some of the things we tell you to put back into your diet if you're not doing that, just do it because it will help in these different eight basic energies. It's part of your uh, uh, process of healing is you've got to have proper nutrients in. You've got to get rid of a lot of toxins. So if you don't have proper nerve supply to your body, though, you will not assimilate or digest or break down the food, use it properly. So um, the energy in the body affects how you break down the food. So we're going to jump right on into it today in the eight basic energies. The first thing is your mental energy. Your mental energy is the power of intellectual and emotional activity. The power of intellectual and emotional activity. So there are certain nutrients that you should have in your diet. You've, you've heard of vitamin C before, but do you realize that uh, your mental, the brain needs a hundred times more vitamin C than in all other parts of the body? So you, adding vitamin C is not about just preventing um, uh, processes for when you get sick, it's really about your body chemistry. So vitamin C and your B vitamins are critical to, to get into your nutrients. I'm not telling you to go out and start to supplement uh, certain um, things, go to a health food store, and, and, but I'm telling you that you start to uh, need to add certain foods back into your daily activity. Yes, there are, are certain foods that are depleted in their nutrients, so we want to make sure that your getting a proper balance in these areas. So if you look at mental energy, you need your B vitamins, you need vitamin C. Some of the foods that are really best to add back into your, um, your regimen as far as your eating, because what I've seen is people will eat the same thing over and over again. You look at their menu, they ate the same thing last week as they did this week, and the same types of foods, and sometimes day in and day out. So some of the foods you, you've heard before, but broccoli. Broccoli is probably one of the healthiest foods you can eat. Now, you know, I used to not like broccoli, then I started eating it, and, I, and then I started looking at all the different things, and I love broccoli now. Your citrus fruits, very high in vitamin C. Your sprouted, veg, or your sprouted, like any type of um, sprouts, bean sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, there are vital minerals that are in the sprouted foods. Your dark greens, anything that is dark green, when you go into the um, produce section, and your soybeans, those have different nutrients in them for your mental energy. So if you were to add those and have those and eat some of these on a daily basis, guess what? You're getting all the different nutrients and breaking down that you need. Now the problem is, if you look at your mental energy, let's use our brain up here. Okay? Our brain and our head is about the weight of a bowling ball. So if our physical body is stressed forward, you're going to put stresses on the uppermost part of the neck. If it's like this, it's nice and strong. I'm using the structure of my spine to stay nice and healthy. If it's shifted forward, you got stress on the muscular system and you're stressing right where the brain and the body hook together. So we want to bring your spine back into proper alignment to allow that the mental energy is flowing down from above down and from the inside the spine out. Your head, like I said, is about the weight of a bowling ball. So if you're 
nervous system is being shut off at the uppermost part of the neck from poor posture, from slumping forward, shifting forward, it's going to compress the brain and the, the bodies, the spinal cord at that level. Bringing your posture back into proper alignment is critical. When you're eating, when you're eating in a proper posture upright, you actually digest your food better. So you want to make sure that when you're eating that you're also chewing your food because we tend to eat things and eat them in too big a bulk and we don't break them down. So when you add your citrus fruits and your broccoli and your, your sprouted um, uh, bean sprouts and your dark greens and your soybeans, those nutrients are naturally found in nature. And we have so many fast foods now that it affects our mental capacity. And we wonder why kids are getting more stressed and they have all these different uh, uh, cravings for sugar and for, for salt and for fatty foods. It's because our body gets out of balance. So your mental energy, you need to have uh, these nutrients put back into your daily activity. You also need to make sure that your posture is upright. The second basic energy is your physical energy. That's the power of physical activity. Now, if you look at the power of physical activity, you want to make sure that you're getting your nutrients into your body, your complex carbohydrates. Now, what does that mean? That's your whole grains. You get complex carbohydrates from a lot of whole grains. But if you're, say, eating bread that's white bread that's depleted of most of its nutrients, you're, you're getting just a lot of refined sugars. And there's a big craze now about reducing your carbs. Now, the biggest thing is reducing your carbs from depleted carbs, meaning that your uh, uh, white flour, your white sugar, because those cause your body to get out of balance and sugar turns to fat. So you want to reduce your refined sugars, your refined white flour, and add more whole grains. When you, do it in, when you eat something in its whole product, you get all the nutrients, all the vitamins and minerals, and so your body becomes stronger. Your physical energies become stronger. You need proper amino acids also, which is your protein. So complex carbohydrates and proteins are very important in your, your um, nutrients. You should have 40% of your diet should be complex carbohydrates. 40% should be your proteins. The other 20% should be healthier fats because you do need fats in your, your diet. You cannot... Um, just be uh, in a diet where you're not eating any fats. Fats are very important, but you need to make sure that you're not eating the saturated fats, that you're eating healthier foods that have certain oils in them. Those fats are actually good for you. So your physical body, you want complex carbohydrates, your whole grains, nuts, the, f the nuts or the um, oils and fats found in nuts are actually very healthy for you. So if you look at your physical body, you want to make sure that your posture is properly balanced. Like we said, the first basic energy is your mental. So you need to make sure your, pro your head's proper balance. But your physical, you need to pro make sure that all the links of the spine, when you bend and move, are physically moving. The energy that flows out to those areas, especially in through the upper neck, lower neck, and middle back area, are the nerves that go to start to digest the food in the mouth, start to break it down in the stomach. The lower back affects the nerves to the colon and the small intestine, so you need to make sure you have proper energy along the nervous system. We will see, have patients come in, and I would say 30-40% of our patients have some sort of digestive problem. And we start to do a nutritional analysis with them, we start to look at what they're putting in their body, we do a seven-day diet study on them, look at their nutrients, and then we start to see what do we need to add, what do we need to subtract from their diet, but if their nervous system is being shut down, they're not going to have that energy flowing along for their body to be properly balanced. We want to make sure that your physical body is allowing the nerve supply to be properly balanced. So if you're sitting in a slumped position, if you're sitting all slumped like this, it is not going to be digesting your food. You're going to be shutting off the vital nerve supply to the organs. If you're sitting up nice and upright, your body is going to be um, not only digesting things better, but much healthier. The third basic energy is your initiative energy. This is the power to take action. This is a positive mind and a healthy body. If you're putting foods into your body, it can affect your mental capacity. It's going to affect your initiative, the ability to take action. How many of you want more mental clarity, a stronger physical body, and more initiative? Well, put some of the things we've talked about nutrition-wise, but you've got to look at your posture, get your spine properly checked. So some of the foods in your initiative are your root vegetables. Anything that is in a rooted form, 